producer of Independence Day. Here we go. We're rolling. Travel beyond the drama and onto the set of the TNT original, The Librarian, Quest for the Spear. There's no question that this movie owes an enormous amount to movies like Indiana Jones or Romancing the Stone. You are about to begin a, a wondrous adventure from which you will never be the same again. Flynn Carson is a uh, roughly 33-year-old individual who has spent most, if not all, of his life in the world of academia. You know, I've never worked in a library before, but isn't this a lot of security for some books? This is the most secure place on Earth. You will soon see why. <laughs> we find this magical, special library that is filled with all the mysterious artifacts of, of our history. Okay, this is all impossible. <clears throat> and might I add, very impossible. But when one of these artifacts gets stolen, it's up to him to bring it back. The fate of the world is in my hands. It's a feature script that's being made for television, and it's, it's huge. The script is full of a lot of special effects, and with Dean Devlin sort of heading that up, I figured we were in good hands. This is the first time I've ever made a, a film in HD, and, and it's been really interesting to see what you can do. Some of my all-time favorite people in this movie. Olympia Dukakis, Jane Curtin, Kyle MacLachlan, Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart has, for the first time in his entire career, an action sequence. I hope they see the, the fun that we had doing it. I, and I think they will. Now, this will be reminiscent of movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, which are just sit there and eat your popcorn with a big grin on your face, and you can't believe that you get to feel like a kid again. Samuel Harley in the Librarian Quest for the Spear.